can't do without books. I love the feel and the touch. I like the flatness of them. I like the comfort of them. They comfort me. I really look forward with great excitement to reading a book. I like the portrait of Rod Notty in, in my... He says, I'm 22 years old. Christ might have looked like this in the autumn when he was the same age. His beard hadn't sprouted. He was blonde and girls dreamed of him nightly. This is my 55th year I've been binding books and I've always, always, always been very keen on design bindings. They are a one-off. Nobody has ever done that before. I see a book in colour first. It's amazing what holds underneath the leather. We see browns, we see reds, we, we don't see what is hidden under that colour if it's treated in the way that I do. Most people would paint, they would paint. People say that I paint in leather. I think that's a very good description. I do paint in leather, yeah. And I use leather to rack it and pucker it and, and the bruising on the leather, the stretch marks of the leather, that all goes to help this head of mine achieve what I want to achieve. Music does enter every part of my life. I can't wait sometimes to bind a book and put the, a piece of music that I felt akin, that I felt it would help. Music is so unbearably beautiful. I love my books to be a little bit like that and be moved in the way that music can move me. I was brought up in London and uh, I realised that Wales, it called me, called to me. Hills, I love hills, I love the freedom, I love to hear the, the sheep and the, the birds and things like that. I never heard them in London. Within, it's the, it's the only place I've actually come back to live. I left Drithin when the kids were small, about 30 odd years ago. And I've come back properly to end my time. I wanted my latest book, which is a big book, 
I saw that very much in terms of mud and gore and how could I express that as a bookbinder? What I think about any war. I want it to be mudded up, trenches up. Be, you know, to wonder what it was like to, to be part of that. And I knew right from the word go that I was going to have bright, whitish birds that were a, a kind of freedom while all the rage was down below. I've often wondered why I look and see things that are free, but uh, I can only suggest a kind of freedom. Collectors no longer like my work. They prefer newer craftsmen and women. And I stick very much to the old fashioned technique of using leather. Most people use these odd materials to make their message. Two old ladies visited me years ago and they said, why is your work so miserable, so depressing? And I thought, at last, somebody's seeing my work for what I think it might be. Perhaps it is depressing, but I like depression. I like to, to why shouldn't it, to move people uh, to make them feel sad. To my mind, that was a huge compliment to me. It was very much better than brilliant. I love it. <laughs>